Hey everybody, going to do a mini review of the new M&P Shield Plus by Smith & Wesson, whose stock is up just a tiny bit today, which is good. And uh, this is a safety model. I personally would not carry the safety model. It goes on easy, comes off easy. It goes on maybe a little too easy, kind of goes halfway up right there and there. Uh, this is a range rental. It's got about 500 rounds on it. I did not clean it other than wiping out the chamber. I did wipe a bunch of gunk uh, out. Uh, but so far, it feels great in the hand. Just like I talked about in my five new micro 9mm pistols, best CCW carry pistols. Five, top five micro 9mm pistols. Got pretty good usable sights. I would much prefer night sights, but it has a great, great trigger. Good serrations here. Uh, not the best in the front, but somewhat usable. Uh, grip texture is very good, but the trigger is uh, phenomenal. So, we'll see how I do here at 7 yards. We'll shoot at the sunburst uh, in a second. Let me switch hands. It's going to be hard to show the reset. But there's the take up. Take up. Dingus. Take up. So, no longer a hinge trigger. And then you're at a nice wall with basically a flat trigger. Just barely forward swept at the bottom. It's perfect. And actually, my trigger reach... Is perfect to the way I shoot now that I started shooting revolvers. I don't use the tip. I just use the hinge and have better control that it doesn't destabilize the pistol. And there it is. And it's got a nice short reset as well that I can't really show on camera. But here we go. Quick look see at the magazine. Instead of 7 and 8 round magazines, comes with 10 and 13 round magazines. That went, that's what makes it the Shield Plus. See, it's a double stack that feeds into a single stack very nicely. These are made by McCart. These feel very high quality. Uh, I only got the 13 rounder to work with, but it gives me a nice full grip. I might actually carry this. You know, it's kind of small to me, but I might actually, I mean, not as a backup gun. I might actually, you know, it could actually be a primary. I would prefer the 4-inch barrel for a primary, but... Uh, which they have, but anyway, they're single stack to um, double stack to single stack feed. It is a slightly different grip texture. It is a much better, much improved trigger, and that's the biggest change. Here we go. First five from the Shield Plus at seven yards. Going for the center of the star. I'll go with the top of the sights. It might be a combat hold, but we'll with the top of the sights to begin with. Pretty good flip, but it, I mean, a little bit of flip, but it comes back down and settles. It doesn't dip down. It seems to settle really nice. I'm not a target shooter. We'll see how I do. Like I said, I'm a cabinet shooter, not a target shooter. I pulled two really bad. I got three touching, just a little high. So right there was a pretty much my aiming point at the top of the sights. That's good, and I threw two really bad. That's me. But the trigger breaks really, really nice. Like I said, it has a good amount of flip, but settles really nice right back there. Guys, make sure to check out my Above the Law remake video, Seagull, and then me doing all the fight scenes, uh, pretty much. 2020, 2021, pretty crazy times. I would hate to have to shoot a beautiful woman like this, but you never know who's a deadly threat. So here we go, 10 rounds at 7 yards. I would not want to rely on taking the safety off and, oh my god, a quick grab, I'm in a gunfight. Only safety should pretty much be on a 1911 or maybe a DASA auto uh, in, in the unsafe position. Probably decock or even better. I digress. Okay. It comes right back down to where you're aiming. I don't know if I dropped him low, but it came right back down really nice for a gun this light, 20 ounces. I'll buy that for a dollar. I'll take that any time. 10 out of 10 in the A zone. I was aiming right here between her cleavage because I couldn't really see the outlines of the box, guys. And that's, you know, that's a 10 and a fist. Like I said, sometimes I'll, dr I'll drop a little low. I'll over muscle a gun. And this is coming, boom. It kind of snaps up fast, but it comes right back down. I don't know what they did. And I don't know if it's any different than the original shields because I don't have time on them. Uh, 
but I am impressed. I mean, it's only 20 ounces. There's going to be a little bit of flip. This is light target ammo, right? 115. But I mean, with defensive ammo, it's going to have a little bit of flip. But it's it's like up and down right fast. And I think that shows those weren't exactly double taps because the range I'm at, people. But I try to get a little close without getting yelled at. And uh, I mean, it came right back down. So they did something really good. Like I said, would hate to shoot this beautiful uh, actress, you know, call me. You know, I do some acting too. But 15 yards, headshots, 10 rounds. Let's see if we can do it. I have no problem with this side stop. I don't know what everyone else is talking about. That's twice I've hit it. Absolutely no problem. Uh, the grip texture feels good. With the 13 round magazine, I got a perfect handle. This feels like a bigger gun. And it does make a big difference. The regular shoot is way too thin for me. The little, little .08 difference or whatever it is, it absolutely makes a difference to my XL hands. This I would carry. The regular shield would only be a backup gun to me. This could be a summertime waste of carrying for me. Okay. Uh, headshots. Here we go. That one left a little bit. Locked back. All right, let's see what I did. All right, all, all ten in the head, okay, in a hand that's seven and a half inches as a typical human hand. I got eight out of ten there. I did call two left, which are right here. So if you count those two left, that's pretty much right on. One a little hides at center, one a little in the hairline. But that ain't bad for a micro. Look at my top five micro pistols. Decide which one you like. Let me know in the comments of that video and this video. Smith & Wesson, why isn't there a pro model with just a front sight and a rear blacked out sight, no manual safety, and coming with three magazines? I know you got to skew for night sights, three mags, but under $500, please. Thank you. Okay, here we go. Seven yards. Now it's time for me to save her before I get any hate mail. All right, let's see if I can save her. Let's put her in this guy's right eyeball if I can. Drop her, man. Let her go, dude. We can talk about it. Let her go, dude. Come on, man. Dude, don't do this. We'll talk. Don't do this, man. Let her go. Let her go, man. Let her go. Pull that one. Shit. Let her go, dude. Let her go. Come on, man. We'll talk about it. I'll get your mom on the phone. Come on, I gotta say that. Oh, I threw a shot bad. I threw two shots bad, but I'm trying not to hit her. Whoa, I gotta slow this down. A little nervous today, I don't know why. Okay, it's a little hot in here. Let her go, dude. Drop the gun. Okay, I think it's pulling my, my aim a little left as I break the trigger, but I do use the hinge, guys. I don't know if everyone will find pulling a little left with this like I did. Let her go, dude! Let's see what I did. All right, not really acceptable, but that's on me because I got five right there in his right eye, which I said I was going for. You usually want to shoot the tee box there. These are small heads. This is a hostage. You don't want to hit them, so you go to the eyebrow right over there. I got five right there. Six, seven, all good. Seven out of ten, though, that's not acceptable to me. Eight, hitting them. Nine, giving the ear piecing. Ten, I definitely pulled, I mean, two of them, three of them really bad. Seven, very good. I mean, the pistol's capable if you were more used to it. So, guys, how about a thumb up in the combat? Because I'm here working on my birthday, having fun work, you know. Okay, I think I got permission to do three triple taps, seven yards, and then I'll do the last six at 25 yards. See if I can hit there. Let's see how we, uh, see what we do. Drop it! Drop it! Drop it! 
Okay, so a little less control than I'm used to because it's a tiny bit lighter than I'm used to. So guys, pretty okay. I mean, pretty okay. A micro compact, better than not carrying, better than carrying something less capable. It's capable. Is it a full size? You know, no, it's not. At least not for me, not yet. Because I only got four in the A zone. These are all good hits. So nine out of 10 are good hits. One dropped a little low. That really wouldn't stop a bad guy. The rest are, are pretty upper thoracic. You know, that's within a seven and a half inch. That's actually about six and a half inches spread. Uh, that's a good pie right there. Those are all pretty good. You know, please stop trying to kill me shots. That really wouldn't do a lot. Nine out of 10, that's not bad. And it was seven yards, not five, uh, you know, which is more. So overall, the shield is capable, but it's not exactly carrying a full size either.